Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what you can do if you cannot log in to NordVPN, the app on Android or even iOS, Apple. I had it just a couple of days ago and also my son had it on his iPhone a couple of weeks ago. And so I'm going to tell you what we both have done. I'm mainly concentrating on Android. So this is the situation which I had on Android. Here's the app and it was more or less totally blocked there was nothing i could do the only thing uh, after a couple of attempts i've been able to move around the map a little bit but when i clicked on login absolutely nothing happened not even i think when i clicked on sign up or so something like that so it was really really strange i didn't have any problems for years and then in a sudden uh, there was this problem and I uninstalled, reinstalled, I've been clearing the cache and all data and reinstalled and uh, rebooted my phone and nothing helped. It was always stuck in this situation here. And so I went to the online website and I was searching for this problem and it was not saying anything about that. I was even googling for that and I couldn't find the solution and so I was without the NordVPN for a couple of weeks and then finally I went back to this page clicked on help and I went to the communication so I was chatting to them and of course they connected me first to just like a normal automated system not a real person talking behind but they were like asking me questions where I have the problem and when and how and so I clicked on these things and after that I got to this solution they were saying on Android setting Firefox or Chrome as your default browser usually resolves login problems. And so I went into the settings of my phone then I was searching for default browser I got this result clicked on that. And instead of Brave I switched back to Chrome. And in a sudden I've been able to click on login and do the login and everything was working uh, as normal. This is a little bit crazy. It almost makes me think that Google has bought up NordVPN and then built in this thing. So uh, yeah, I mean, of course I don't have any proof, but it's a little bit weird. What helped my son on his iPhone with iOS, uh, he had to uninstall the app and reinstall so actually upgrade to the latest version and then this solved the problem for him so that's it for now i hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or uh, other solutions maybe you have similar problems then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time